In this lecture, you are going to learn about how you can use user defaults in your content view or a Swift UI view. I already have an application built up. You can see that we are using a state variable, which is called is on. We have a vertical stack, which has a toggle control and a frame set for the vertical stack, which has a background color depending on whether the toggle is on or off. If I go ahead and run this application right now and go ahead and make sure that the toggle is on, you can see that it changes the color to green. And I can make the toggle off and it goes back to red color. Perfectly fine. Let's change it back to green and stop our application. Now, if I go ahead and run the application, don't you think that it should go back to green because that's what that was what the last state was? but it didn't because we didn't really save the value of is on true or false anywhere. So in this lecture, you're going to see that how you can persist the value of this particular variable is on to a user defaults. Now, in order to do that, we're going to start by creating some sort of a view model. So let's go ahead and add a new view model. I will call that view model settings view model. You can actually name it anything you like, that's fine. I'm just going to call it settings view model. Settings view model will be a class, settings view model, which will use the observable object type. Great. Now we need a property is on. So let's go ahead and create the property is on, which will be a Boolean property. But whenever we set this property, we want to notify the subscribers that the property has been changed. So we have to mark this with published property wrapper. Anytime you're going to change this property, it is going to tell the subscribers that the property has been changed. Now we need to assign some sort of an initial value to our property. So I'm just going to go over here and say user defaults dot standard dot boolean and boolean for a particular key which in this case is is on so this will be the default value when we are getting this we will get this particular value did set and we can say user defaults dot standard dot set and we will set a particular value which in this case will be on for a key, which is also on. Great, so now we have created a view model, which is settings view model, which only consists of one single property called is on. When we are trying to get the property, it is going to get it from basically the user defaults. And when we are going to set the property, it is going to set the property into user defaults. Now let's see that how we can actually use this particular code. I'm going to go over here and create something called an observed object, which will be var settings view model. And I will initialize it with settings view model. Great. Now instead of using this is on state property, we are going to start using the settings view model. So self dot settings view model is on. Great. Now for the next part with a change of the background color settings. So dot settings view model dot is on. And since settings view model is a bindable property, we have to put a dollar sign. Okay, let's go ahead and check out what we are doing wrong over here. Content view has no more, uh, okay, settings view. Okay, let's copy this. I think I misspelled it, the spelling. That's not a big deal. There we go, it's fixed now. All right, so now we are using the settings view model throughout our application. Whenever we set the value of 
is on to true or false based on our toggle, we simply go and write that value into the user defaults. When we are trying to get the value is on, then it's going to read the value from the user defaults and simply return it. Let's go ahead and go run the application. And this time we're going to see that if our selection is persisting or not. So let's go ahead and run it. I'm going to go ahead and change to green and I'm going to stop the program. Make sure that you understand that we have changed this to green color. Now let's go ahead and start the program again and you can see that all of your properties are restored again. Well in this case it's only one property called is on and now you can see that it is a green color, the one that you actually set up and saved. This is how you will persist information in user defaults using SUF UI. Now, if you have other information that you want to persist, you can definitely do that, making sure that you are writing all that information in the settings view model, like the one that we have done. If you have liked this video and want to check out the complete course for building application using the SUF UI framework, then go ahead and check out my Udemy course, which is SUF UI and Declarative Interfaces for any Apple device. This is a 11 plus hour course and I keep on adding new content. It covers everything that you need to know about building amazing applications using the Swift UI framework. We will go into building list and navigation, understanding the state and binding, implementing the weather application, implementing the complete coffee ordering application, MVVM design pattern, property wrappers, gestures, form, models, core data integration, core ML integration, and much, much more. Now, if you want to get this course, check out the links in the YouTube description. That's the best way to get the course. The coupon is already applied to those links. And if you click on it, it will simply take you to Udemy website and it, it has the coupon already applied. So simply click add to cart or buy now and buy the course. I highly encourage you to use the coupons that I'm putting in the YouTube description because if you use the coupons, then to be really honest, it will really benefit me also. You are going to get the best deal and I'm going to get a much bigger revenue cut because you're using my coupons. So please use my coupons when you are purchasing this course. And I really hope that you enjoy the course. If you do have any questions, please uh, write it in the comments. If you have any suggestions for creating some other videos regarding Swift UI or even some other videos related to some other frameworks and iOS, then please let me know. I want to grow this channel. I want to share the knowledge um, and uh, that's what the whole channel is all about. So thank you so much and I really hope that you enjoy the video.